Let's talk about tax, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about tax. Hallelujah. I'm going for a 70s vibe, guys. Did you know? Hey, guys. This? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia, and uh, yeah. Karibuni sana, it is the month of June. My hair is looking uh, very afro-ish and I'm very happy with it. I was going to shave it, but I decided no, because it's, it's doing well. Huh? I'm like, wow, wow hair. Yeah, I've been paying the taxes for my body. <laughs> anyway, so this video, I will be talking about taxes. And it's only because it's June and we have, what, how many more days? Today is the 5th, so we have 25 more days to file our tax returns. And Mimi, <laughs> I have to say, I've been doing a lot of research and I did a lot of homework and I took notes. First of all, shout out to these guys who sent me this notebook. Who are they called? They're called Tibeb. Tibeb. I was about to say Tibeb. Tibeb, they're from Ethiopia and I met them at the Afri Love Fest and they gifted me this notebook. It's made out of leather and it has a lovely African woman over there just like being so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. But yes, yeah, so I've taken a lot of notes because I feel it's really important um, basically just to share information about taxes and about tax returns. What are we returning to who? Tunarudishia nani nini? What is a tax return? Are we returning taxes? Are they returning to us? What are we filing? What is happening? This information is so vague when it comes to taxes. Like if you think about it, in school, tulifundishwa taxidami, taxonomy, taxing, philotaxing, chemotaxonomy, syntax, thermotaxis, epitaxiale, taxi driver, Okay, I feel like we weren't really given in-depth information on taxes and what are taxes? What are they used for? Why do we have to pay taxes? What is happening? So I did some research and I'm going to try and give as much information as possible as I can in this video. I will say right now at this point, um, this video is in partnership with ushuru.co.ke. They filed my tax returns last year and they did such an amazing job. They unblocked my pin because it had been blocked until today. I still don't know why. They really helped me out last year. So even this year, they reached out to me. They're like, hey, do you want to partner with us and share information on ushuru.co.ke? And basically, you know, if you guys are interested in their services, you can also hire them. So one, let's just start with what are taxes? What is a tax? I'm going to be reading from this book because I took notes. Nimeadika notes. A tax is a compulsory levy on individuals or entities that is imposed by government to raise revenue for government expenditure. So government expenditure could be, you know, paying of salaries of government officials, repair or creation of roads. Um, if it's a country that provides free health care, like the UK, you know, they would pay for that. Free education. Basically anything that the government needs to put in place a beautification it's paid for by taxes what is a tax return so tax returns or a tax return is um, a form filled with a taxing authority which would be kra kenya revenue authority that reports the income expenses and pertinent tax information of a person right so it's basically a form where you just <laughs> cannot just stuck but you basically declare this this has been my income this is what i have earned these are the taxes so far that i have paid so that they can know what they're collecting from the individuals in the in who reside in that country and it could be citizens but also non-citizens who work in the country so whatever revenue that is generated while living in kenya any kenyan who is of legal age is required to get a pin number and once you have a pin number whether or not you're employed you still need to file returns so if you are not employed or you are not receiving any income then you file for nil returns or if you have an income that's up until eleven thousand five hundred and eighty seven that's like the taxable income begins from there if you earn below 11,587 then you don't have to pay any taxes and so you file nil returns another thing that i want to talk about is the p9 form so the p9 form is for people who are employees 
and the p9 form is a summary of taxes that's the pay as you earn that are deducted by the employer so when you ask your employer for a p9 form they basically generate a form for your income for the year and the taxes that were deducted which they're supposed to remit to kra i want to debunk some myths one you don't file your tax returns just in the month of june you're supposed to do them between the 1st of january to the 30th of june so for six months you're able to file your returns and this is because you're filing the returns for the previous year so for instance between 1st of january 2019 to 30th of june 2019 you would be filing your returns for your income that you generated from last year like all of 2018 that's why you can start in january because it's for the previous year two Filing of tax returns is something that you can do for yourself. You don't have to get somebody to do it for you. You can do it yourself and you can get information about taxes from kra.go.ke, right? iTax is a system that is now like an online platform so where you're able to access these services and it was necessary for people to migrate their PIN numbers onto the iTax system so that now they, they're able to access the services online instead of having to go physically to the kra offices at kina times tower and whatnot to get any services that would require your pin number another myth is that the penalty is twenty thousand. it used to be twenty thousand, but it was reduced to two thousand shillings per year so if you didn't file your returns last year then the penalty would be two thousand bob a lot of people don't file their returns because they're afraid of the penalty ilishuka so for instance, last year I hadn't filed for the two years before that. My penalty was a whole 40,000. This year, had I not filed for three years, it would be 6,000. So I think it's they reduced it so that they can encourage people to file their tax returns, right? Because they need more and more people to file their returns so that more people can then actually pay their taxes. And, you know, so that they can also know and gather all this data and information about how many people in the country should be um, paying their taxes and what amount should be generated. Another myth that for me, <laughs> I also uh, found out is that withholding tax, which for freelancers or creatives like me, which is 5%, I thought that that, that was the tax that we're entitled to, like just 5% of our earnings. But it turns out withholding tax is just it's it's a deductible from the source so at the moment you are paid like for instance when i'm paid five percent is withheld um by kra so that they can track my income i'm not an employee so it's not payee they generate a certificate to let to let me know how much is due from me in taxes so i hope i am doing this in proper order because shillable. So if you go to the kra.go.ke website, you'll get information on all types of taxes. There's income tax, which includes corporate tax, payee, which is pay as you earn, withholding tax, advance tax, installment tax, and that's all under income tax. Then there's the rental income tax, there's the value added tax, which is VAT, which is 16%, which you've seen on receipts all the time. There's the excise duty, there's capital gains tax and agency revenue tax. So you can find all that information on kra.go.ke. I think it's important to educate yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, um, your PIN number is what is used to track your income. So for instance, um, this is something like as a freelance creative, whenever we do any work with companies, they now insist on getting your PIN number and they have to have your PIN certificate and your ITAX certificate to make sure that you're ITAX compliant. I think that's the word or KRA compliance. They just need that certificate so that now they can also do their due diligence and do the right thing to make sure that they remit the withholding tax to the government. What happens is now KRA will generate an, a certificate, one to the company that I worked with and another one to me so that I can know, you know, I'm also able to track throughout the year all the income that's been withheld and all the tax that is due from me by the government. 
Nil returns, like I said, um, if you're unemployed or if you're earning an amount that's below the taxable amount, you still have to file your returns, but you file nil returns because you are not eligible to pay taxes at that point. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, this video is in partnership with ushuru.co.ke. They offer a service where they can file your returns for you. Now, I know I had said that you can do it yourself, which is, of course, your, your choice, right? But there's a reason why they offer this service. And I, for me, I likened it to, for instance, you can clean your house yourself or you can hire somebody to clean it for you. You can either wash your car yourself or you take it to a car wash, right? You can do your hair yourself or you can go to a salon. So why would you opt to have ushuru.co.ke file your returns for you? One, they'll make sure that they are correct and complete. And by complete, that means that they will get, you know, they'll figure out all your reliefs, all the tax reliefs that you're eligible for, all the tax deductions, all the tax-free incomes that you don't have to like submit for taxes. And they'll also offer you tax advice. So basically they're a bit more thorough and they can end up saving you money. Because for instance, um, I watched Akina Ramsey and she goes, uh, a vlog where they talked about tax returns and the tax breaks that they got for their company which they ran together which they did they didn't know about before so they give me money advice and they give me tax advice so you can always reach out to them for that they're also able to reset your password I mean yeah you can do it yourself as well but they can also do it for you much quicker and um, they can get your pin unblocked they did that for me last year and for me i didn't even know where to start with getting a pin un unblocked i had no idea where like i called they said do you go to the kra center that's at railway club i went there then they're like you have to go to samia business park and i was just like this is a lot of work guys and then they did it for me and it was super super simple and it was quick and if you go to shuru.co.ke they'll give you you know all the rates for individuals for companies and how long it takes for certain services to be done so for instance for individual tax returns they'll charge you 2500 per year and it'll take seven days and they'll also share with you what information they need from you. So for instance, your PIN number and your ITAX password. That's all they need. You give them the information and you just relax, calm down. Yeah. So their charges are per year. And I will share a link in the description box below where you can go check out what they offer. I currently have a discount code that you can use. So all you have to do is email them or call the number or WhatsApp them. I've put the information here. My discount code is PK2019. That's PK2019. And if you reach out to them and you give them that code, they will give you a discount so that, you know, you get a cheaper rate. And you would ask, I mean, a lot of people are like, you know what, I would rather not. I'm not going to register for anything. I'm not going to file for taxes. And that way I'll just be, you know, not have to suffer the, the hassle of paying taxes there's the whole ignorance is bliss kind of thing and if they don't know who I am then I don't have to file my taxes and even if you haven't filed for all these years they've reduced the penalty and two you then get to have the peace of mind that you're not a fugitive because if they find you it basically means you're breaking the law by not paying taxes and when you hear about celebrities who do tax evasions do as wesley snipes went to jail because he hadn't paid taxes for i don't know how long that's how these things are true honestly once i filed my returns last year and these guys sorted me out peace of mind peace of mind was amazing another thing also is you can get to find out if you're tax exempt so tax breaks can also include things like if you're a person living with disability um, the first 150,000 shillings per month that you earn is tax-free. Ushuru.co.ke will get your tax exemption for you and they'll file your returns for free. Now, who's a person living with disability? It means a physical, sensory, mental, or other impairment, including any visual, hearing, learning, or physical incapability, which impacts adversely on social, economic, or environmental participation now if you want to find out if you're a person living with disability you can go to the national council for persons living with disability uh, website which is ncpwd.go.ke and you can find this out and once you figure that out ushuru will 
do these services to you for free um, and I think it's really important to just figure out all this information learn as much as possible about you know your tax situation uh, what you're exempt from what your reliefs are what um, your breaks are Ushuru can help you with all this basically all you have to do is sit back relax and trust that these guys are lawyers and accountants so they're qualified to do this work their website is encrypted which means it's safe. None of your information is going to be hacked or anything like that. See, I tell creeps. It is encrypted. <laughs> yes. Taxes are not just for the employed. If you make money off of rental income, a side hustle, um, any way that you make money and you make an income, the, the government needs to tax you so that the country can run. In an ideal situation, taxes would be going 100% into running the country. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope this, the information was clear to you. I'm trying not to make this video too long because Mimi, who are now gear sana sana sana. I'm hoping that this video will, you know, give you some motivation to file your tax returns and, you know, do the thing that a good citizen would do. Also, <laughs> I was watching a video and there's this lady, her name is Judy Jage. She's the chief manager of taxpayer services at KRA. And she said that if all Kenyans paid taxes, the tax would reduce. Let's hope that we can all play a part in paying our taxes so that our taxes can reduce and then the money can be used for services like free medical care, free education, good roads, um, no stealing of billions and billions and billions. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Patricia and I'll see you next time. Ooh, did any of you notice what this is? Gryffindor <laughs> and uh, lightning bolt. See you guys. Bye.